What's up, everybody? It's me, Troy, from Troy's Movies. Today we're back with another cop, a decoded video. Um, and this time I'm gonna have more of a formatted show here. Um, in this video, I'm gonna tell you more information on the history of cop, some updates and um, clarifications they gave us. And then also uh, some solutions that I'll um, have for us creators. We don't need YouTube to be on our side. We can just do this and we'll be safe. Crazy, I know. Just wait till the end of the video and you'll see how. But uh, first, let's get into uh, new stuff. So I actually learned that. Um, this didn't start in 2019. This was there was some sort of a conflict between YouTube and the FTC. Um, Quite a ways back, actually, 2016, but it didn't really escalate high until 2017 or er, and then 2019, where um, they sued them, obviously. So um, <clears throat> next is. Uh, again, I have some more uh, clarifications that they've gave, given us. Um, one of them being that they don't, they want to go for the biggest and clearest cases first, which, you know, that's kind of, you know, well, that seems logical. You know, it does kind of seem like, like that they would do that, but you know, that just has a lot of, well, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here. Um, another thing the FTC told us is that if, that they, um, are they don't care about how YouTube has implemented this. They just don't want YouTube breaking the law and stuff. They don't want YouTube breaking laws. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, YouTube, I mean, the FTC doesn't really know that much about how YouTube works and uh, all that stuff. So now to my solutions. And this one perhaps could crack a cop. It's a pretty clear-cut solution. It's just for us creators. We don't need YouTube. The first video was all about what YouTube can do. This one is about what we can do. So, the FTC has told various, not me, but various creators <coughs> to cop videos. <coughs> they tell them that their channel is in that gray area we talked about last video, like that eh, maybe it's for kids, but maybe it's not for kids. It's kind of in the mixed audience range and whatnot. YouTube help me. Then <coughs> the FTC isn't going. They said they're not really going to find you. Now that doesn't mean they can't find you for misidentification. Keep that in mind, but. Um, if your channel is not like clearly made for kids or clearly not made for kids, then you can like, what am I doing here? You can, um, you should be looking at the camera, jeez. You should, um, basically make your channel not made for kids to keep all those features and then FTC won't even find you in their big sweepings. And I mean, bigger channels are at more of a risk than smaller channels. But, you know, it's, it's just to be safe, use this little trick anyway. Uh, FTC, using what the FTC has stated um, to your advantage is perfectly okay. All you gotta do is just Mark your channel is not made for kids if it's in that gray area, and, um, yeah. 
but I've only got one solution this episode, but I honestly, I think it is the key to cracking the entire rest of time. So, um, oh, I'm feeling dreary in this episode, so if you guys enjoyed it, smash the like button for YouTube to be on our side with this, and of course, hit the bell button. Yeah, subscribe down there. Um, also, I will be putting the same links that I put in the first video in here. So, um, yeah, that'll be nice. And um, now we will see you guys next time. Bye.